Alrighty, everyone, it's that time of year right now where we have a Star Wars TV show that is currently on Disney+. Plus. We have a lot of fans talking about specific scenarios that are happening in the show The Mandalorian Season 3 by John and Dave and exactly what's coming next. We have Chapter 20 that's about to debut tomorrow, so there's a lot of things to look forward to. And everything after that, the remaining chapters, the last half of Season 3, is where we are going to be getting more surprises on a very much, you know, incline level here. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that Jon Favreau has been responding to a lot of questions from media outlets about the future of the franchise, where it's going, what needs to be done, and certain things that people have actually questioned him that may be controversial. And we know that Favreau is all about hyping the fans up. He's all about not really staying quiet or anything like that. He likes to keep fans in the know, to keep them in the loop about their ambitions and goals with the franchise, and what kind of characters are going to be introduced, stuff like that. They like to actually really market their shows before they're even made. They, you know, he even talked about Mando Season 4. So, with that being put out there and said, one thing that I think is really intriguing about all of this is exactly what Favreau had to say about the sequel trilogy films when he was questioned about erasing the sequel trilogy lore and or canon material and exactly, you know, how they would handle that. And what he really had to say... I think is probably the most interesting thing for this year, 2023, about what Favreau talks about when it comes to the sequels. So let's dive into it. Now, with John and Dave developing many projects all at once, he was able to unveil something very exciting to fans. Then they also raised some concerns for other fans, where John was able to share some big details about the future. Favreau had this to say to the fandom. So, when we were writing Ahsoka and working on how exactly this was going to work, one thing that we agreed on was how we could use this show as a great tool to retell the events that take place in the sequels. Now, look, I have had so many fans asking me about erasing the sequel trilogy or decanonizing the films or stuff like that. And one thing I will say in response to that is, we are looking into Ahsoka Season 2 right now, and we are finding outstanding ways that we can say yes, if you want to call it erasing, to erase key pieces of canon told by J.J. and Ryan in the sequel films. This is something that we are seriously looking into and how we can do it in the most realistic way possible to make some fans very happy who are and are still to this day very unhappy with the sequel trilogy. I will say one thing about working on Ahsoka is that there will be a way that we can control certain moments in time or history that can be altered or changed um, and a lot and how we and how we are able to focus on this using Season 2. Now, I want to just say what Jon Favreau is talking about. There's no doubt about it that he's alluding to the world between worlds here. I mean, there's no chance that it's something different. He's most certainly referring to the world between worlds. As you all saw in Rebels Season 4, where Ezra is able to literally pull Ahsoka through that portal, saving her from Darth Vader, you know, destroying her. It really, you know, changed the timeline. That in and of itself changed the overall timeline of the canon. And basically, John and Dave are on the roll and on the hunt of doing something very specific like that that's going to impact the sequel trilogy deeply. Exactly how they're going to go about doing this is very, you know, unclear right now. Uh, we know that They've been wanting to make Ahsoka into a multi-season show for the longest time, and now they have achieved that. And that's great news and all, because let's face it, a lot of fans, like myself, love the mythology side of Star Wars. That's not to say that things like Bounty Hunters or Mandalorians are boring, I'm not saying that at all, but the mythology, Dark Side and Light, Jedi and Sith, or, you know, just Darksiders and... Sith holocrons, Jedi holocrons, I mean, the cosmic force, all these different things, right? The mythology, I think is more centered into the franchise and more embedded in the fans' minds. And that's something that a lot of fans really look forward to. That's something that really kind of, you know, 
becomes something at the core of it all. And that's what John and Dave want to focus on. They want to make this into a multi-season show, and they've achieved that. So beyond that too, he goes on to elaborate. We really fought for this with Disney. We wanted to make sure that Ahsoka would be a multi-season series and not just a one-off or a limited show. We have so many great stories to tell and so many ways to retell and redo some pieces of the sequels that is going to provide us more freedom with how we bring back Legends into this very large franchise that is only getting bigger every single year. It's been the biggest challenge of my life and sure we are breaking some of the rules in Star Wars a bit using this show but we feel it's necessary in some areas, but not all, if that makes sense to everyone. It's been my goal from day one. So, again, Favreau's putting it out there that this is his goal, and it has been his goal from day one to erase some of the canon from the sequel trilogy lore and exactly how they can work from there. Now, look, this is not to say that they're probably going to be erasing all the movies. I highly doubt that. Uh, but what they are going to be doing is that what he was able to respond to that question is that, yeah, they will be erasing major pieces of canon in certain ways using Ahsoka Season 2 mainly. It's going to be suggested in Season 1, but it's not going to be a direct thing, right? So we obviously know that the World Between Worlds, it is going to be a focus in Season 1. It's going to have a lot to do with the prequel trilogy. Uh, we talked about this months ago and how Ahsoka is going to use that as a way to kind of connect with Anakin in a very weird way um, using the world between worlds, of course. But on top of that, we also know that Jon Favreau is all about taking baby steps, doing things very carefully, trying to not make mistakes in the canon that's going to upset more fans. He wants to make sure that he's not going to be that guy and that he's not going to really be that guy like Ryan Johnson who divided the franchise, right? Or divided the fandom, I should say, by really making the middle point of the trilogy the most controversial one. So anyways, given that there's a lot of things going on at the same exact time, we know that Kathleen Kennedy is having a lot of trouble with Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. Uh, yes, John and Dave are helping, but will it be enough? Who knows, right? On top of that, we have Disney CEO Bob Iger in, you know, a shakeup with the Disney board still to this day. Um, you know, they're really trying to figure out exactly what they need to do with Star Wars and Marvel and stuff around those lines. Um, and not just that, just a couple of hours ago, we learned that uh, David Lindenoff, all right, leading that one other Star Wars film, is reportedly walking away from the film. So there's a lot of things going on right now with the Star Wars franchise and with the overall structure of what Disney wants to do with this roadmap. That's going to be announced, by the way, at Star Wars Celebration. We will be getting a lot of announcements for that, so looking forward to what John and Dave have to say further. So anyways, guys, you know, on top of all of this, fill me in below in the comments what you guys have to say on top of all of this and if you guys did enjoy the content for today drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and i'll catch you guys next time